What are you still doing here? Why don't you want to come out to see your guests? I don't feel like seeing anyone. What is wrong with you? See, you don't know how lucky you are. That guy should be about the seventh or eighth man coming sick for your hand in marriage. But yet, you, you, you've not said any positive reply. I've sent for her. Her elder sister has gone to call her. But I wonder what is happening. Anyway, she will soon be here. It's okay. We're doing fine. Yes, I can see it. <laughs> see, that day I called and they said you went to Lagos. See, Ma, if you don't want to get married, you tell us. I think it's better I go to the convent to become a reverend sister. Even if I go to the convent, they will reject me. They will send me packing. Ma, don't start. Don't. Don't. Okay, don't start again. Please don't cry. Ma, how many times have I seen for this afternoon? Daddy, we are actually on our way to the parlor before we get done. No way, it's not necessary anymore. Look, how can you keep a man waiting for you for an, over an hour? They've gone, the young man is not jobless. At times I wonder if your behavior towards men is, if there is nothing behind it. This is the seventh secret that is coming for you. But each time you keep embarrassing them and they're embarrassing me also. Look, man, let me tell you, if you're not ready for marriage, tell me. So that any time they come, I give them no for an answer. Or do you think I will marry you? Mama, when I marry you, A fine young man. Good afternoon. My dear, good afternoon. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Good evening. When I saw you chilling down, I oh. uh, are you still around? Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this boy, you. <laughs> eh? Yes. And you have refused to come and say hello to your teacher. Eh? Ah, man. No, no, no. It's not like that. It's just that um, since I left law school, I've been so busy. One tight schedule to another, and all that. What? I've uh, been so busy. So you are a lawyer now? Yes, ma. Oh yes, my ma. god! That's uh, good to hear. Thank you. Congratulations, okay? Thank you very much. Hi! Okay, so where are you off to? Um, I'm going to the market just here. Uh, uh, it's a mother that has a long way to go. She's going to the bank at Fox Road. Wait a minute. <laughs> Auntie! <laughs> you mean? <laughs> Is this woman? The little girl? My Uma. Oh my god! <laughs> Wow, she's looking so big. It's God. She's grown into a beautiful God. woman. What about Clara? Uh, Clara is fine. She's at home. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> since you're close by where you're going to, um, my destination is not far from her. Uh, so maybe I'll drop her off. Anything for you, ma. ma. You go with him, okay? All right, mom. Okay. Um, one of these days, I'll be with him. Please don't. We need to catch up. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma. Thank Have you. a nice You're day. Welcome. Let's go. Okay. Yes. Bye. Eh? Okay. Bye, dear. Bye. 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 Bye.
Uh, sir, I, I understand. I, I truly understand. Please, my <coughs> son, I don't want you to take this too far, okay? I don't know, this girl will put me into a serious problem one day. How could she slap a full grown man like that? But not to worry, okay? I'll, I'll talk to her. She must come and apologize to you. Okay? It's all right. Um, so I, I came to inform you because till now, I still can't comprehend why she should act like that. <laughs> Sir, look, look at my face. No woman has ever done this to me before. But whatever it is, I just hope you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Sorry, right. okay. I will still talk to her. Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. Thank you for your audience. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah. Please take it easy, okay? It's all right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right. You I do talk to her like I said. I will do that. Yeah. Right. Thank you, sir. Ma. Ma. <laughs> you shouldn't have slapped him. You shouldn't. Why should he touch my laps? I had no other option than to slap him now. Ah, uh, is it because I entered that his crooked car? Is that why he had the right to touch me? You are very stupid! He said it was a mistake. Did you hear me? You are very stupid! Can you hear yourself? I know that boy very well. He's a well-behaved and responsible boy. And you showed your irresponsibility by slapping him. Mba! Hey! Ma, this your character is really getting out of hand. I think you had better stop before it puts you into trouble one day. Eh eh! Eh eh! Ah! It's okay, nobody should preach to me, what is it? In fact, people should look at it. Master G, please! Master G, come back here! What is wrong with this girl? Hmm? she did not put us into trouble one day. What is wrong with her? What is wrong with this girl? It's okay, Timmy, don't worry yourself. She's just acting her age. All she needs is her prayers and she'll be fine. Don't worry yourself, okay? And hey. What is wrong with this girl, eh? How will she do a thing like that? Leave me alone now. Clara, mm. what is it? Mommy, look, look, look at what your daughter is putting on. Look at the tiny stripe of the blouse. It's not covering anything. And that is why men keep frolicking around her. And how many has she followed? Marriage. Hmm? Look at the amount of stuff that has come for her hand in marriage. But all she does is to slap them. Uh-uh. Mommy, why are you talking like this? But it's true. It is true, my dear. Clara, leave your sister alone. Let's happy. Mommy, is, is that all you have to say? Is that all you have to say to, 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 to this dressing? See, mommy, this dressing does not befit a girl from a Christian background. It, it's not right. Anyway, I'm going to tell that. Sister Mary, pray for us. What did you just say? Me? Nothing. You didn't say anything. Mommy, did I say anything? Mama, my dear, go and get a seat. Come and help me man the script, oh? What's nice putting on? I've talked to Ma several about dressing the same, but she wouldn't listen. 
a girl from a Christian home is supposed to dress decently. The way she dresses is not appealing to the eyes. And she's happy about it. Daddy, you, you need to talk to her. Uh, my daughter, there is something you fail to understand. Both of you are from the same parents, but you have different character and destiny. Take for instance, you go to the church every Sunday, but she's only a Sunday, Sunday Christian. Or does she attend evening devotion with you? No. But she's the one suit has come for. Everybody wants to marry her. So take things easy, okay? Daddy, what, what are you trying to say? Are you in a hurry to send me to a man's house? No, my daughter. Why should I? All I am saying is that both of you cannot have the same character. The men that come for her see her the way she dresses and still come for her. So you should just take this easy, okay? One day the man that loves you for who you are will come for you also. You are still young and beautiful, my daughter. And, but you should just let Ma be. Okay? Good day, sir. Good day, my dear. You're welcome. Okay, sir. You're welcome. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. So how are your parents? How's business? Fine, my dear. It's just that there's still so many things happening in the country. But we take this to the next step. We will start off from the same place. Ask her what to do. She's alright. So what should I offer you? Well, um, anything. So. You mean she's black people just like that? Bro. I was shocked to my own mother. <laughs> Brother, it was no joke, man. I think I, I, I carelessly, I, you know, nonchalantly dropped my hands on her laps. You know, just like that. And the next thing I got was a bang on my cheek. No! <laughs> he not mean it. But it was not funny. <laughs> because I heard that they are not the only one she has done that. Oh, she's insane. It will be harsh, man. I must get back at home. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't just let that whole thing die like that. She must have a piece of me too. <laughs> oh. The one of green. This is green today? Yes. Tom is not It is true. I know what. I'm going to ship I right now. Just watch me. Don't do anything to check me, please. Okay. Hey, hey, you see your eyes? You see? You see? You're so wicked. After hitting me, you feel you can get away with it. You, you, you're so hard. You don't even behave like a lady. You never cared to apologize since then. No problem. <laughs> I have a news for you. You will get it the way you gave it to me. I will teach you a lesson and you will know that I'm not the everyday guy that takes your insolence. You hear from me. How was that? You really should cry and you see what I'm saying. I will keep frustrating that girl, man. How can she slap a man like me? She's too pretty for that. Daddy, that better go and warn him, oh. Go and warn him because if you should try me, hey, it won't be funny. Ah, I went to a university, a rough one for that matter. I know bad boys, oh. Mwah, shut up. That is what you want her to say. I, I know bad boys, oh. How would he treat you? Do you think it's anybody you see on the road you will display that your madness with? Eh, daddy, that's what you have to say. Eh? Anyway, why am I talking too much? If he kills me, who will lose? Is it not you? Thank you. 
Ma. Mm -hmm. That guy is who is still very angry with you. And I think you should go and apologize to him. See, this world is a very small place. You don't know where you meet this guy tomorrow. If you can't go, I'll go with you. Or you could still ask Norma to accompany you. I'm not going anywhere. Why are you all putting the blame on me? Because he gave me a ride, he feels he has access to touch me anyhow. If you don't teach them a lesson, they will go further. And that's what I was trying to avoid. That guy is a very responsible man. I think you still need to go and apologize to him. There's no point making enemies here and there. The responsible guy is threatening girls. Now he's threatening me. He should come and do his worst, let me see. I'm not going anywhere. I have to go and I've told you several times I'm not ready to get married. But my parents and sister won't understand. Ma. I know you, Ma. I know, but I'm not ready. I'm not. I want to have about two years working experience before I go into a man's house. Marriage is not all about age. It has to do with maturity, both physically, spiritually, mentally. You're a nice person, but... I understand. I understand. Listen, Just accept my proposal. Then I'm going to be your bright eyes. Please. The truth is, I love you. And I can't afford to lose you to any other man. Please. Ima, <laughs> you don't give up, do you? No, 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 I won't. <laughs> Listen to me, Ima. I'm not ready to get married, and that's it. I won't promise you anything, okay? It's okay, it's okay, I'm not pushing. <laughs> But I just want you to have it at the back of your mind. I'll take my little now. Okay, I'll see you.
Stop. Stop. She talks to you. Eh? Why? Don't sorry for me. Just go and apologize to that young man. Did you hear that? I will. You better do. Now go and press up. Let's go to the hospital and get your darling flower. Because he will be discharged in an hour. I'm not gonna get a slap again. No, no, you won't. You promise? I'm so ashamed of myself when I found out that you took my dad to the hospital that night after you threatened me. I'm very sorry. Please forgive me. I wouldn't have done anything to you. And I will never be able to do anything to you no matter what you do to me. It's just that all I wanted you was to show some remorse for your actions. Like you're doing now. Look, you're a woman. A lady. You're, you're not supposed to be so hard-hearted. Even though I'm not sure you are, but... to all the bands in that complex to drop me off the other day. But I'm yet to get a reply from any of them. Mm, okay. 
I have a close friend that works with bank. I will let him know about this. He's the general manager of the bank, so I sure know he's going to do something about it. It's not really a big bank, but it's okay. You will enjoy working there. Thank you. Thanks. He's welcome. It's okay. Come to my office with your CV tomorrow at noon. Okay? We'll go and see him together. I can't believe you go through all this for me after everything. Well, it's alright. <laughs> In you lies a lovable and a charming, beautiful angel. And that is what I see each time I look into your eyes. You're not as hard as you can to be. Hmm? Enjoy your food, alright? No talking this time. Eat. <laughs> and nothing more. Hey now, uh, it's possible now. From enemies to friends, from friends to lovers, and from lovers to who knows? That, that's your business, <laughs> love prophetess. Oh God, I'm so happy for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. So what's up? You are not the only one that has a good age. Wow. Tell me something. Guess what? Yes, now. Tell me you're impressed. <laughs> wow! Your CV is good. I knew you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and since Izu here is my friend, my very good friend, and he has given a good account of you, the job is yours. Wow, thank you very much, Woo! sir. Thank you're you. Welcome. You're welcome. Mm. Um, um, Izu, I'll give her the job of a cashier. That's the only vacant post at the moment. The monthly salary is 38,000 naira for starters. Well, uh, it's okay. At least for now. She needs to start from somewhere. <laughs> so, Mr. Walker, thank you very much. You're my brother, man. I can do more for you. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. Boy. You can start whenever, even now. Okay. I'll inform my parents about it today, then I can start off tomorrow, if you don't mind. It's okay. It's okay. So, what can I offer you? Well, uh, any soft juice. Soft? 
me soft? Yes, me <laughs> soft. So swear is it? Come on, man. Is it because of her? Hi. <laughs> Come on, man. So swear for now, we have a lady in the house. So you mean you still brought all this for me? I'm telling you. You said that what I was putting on today was not complete enough. You're about to buy me clothes and who am I to say no? I was so surprised. You see? You see what I was telling you? Your worst enemy could turn out to be your best friend tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Very lucky. You see, this is too good. You're going to wear them to work tomorrow. You know it's going to be your first day, so you have to be very, very good, okay? I'm so happy for you. Oh, thank nice. you, my darling sister. You get the job soon, okay? Amen. Mama. Yes, sir. Someone is here to see you. It's very nice. Where are these clothes from? Are they new? Yes, they are. Mama wanted to come and show it to you and daddy. This will bother them for her. He wanted her to look very, very comfortable, so he got all this for her. Huh? Yes. You mean you soon have bought these clothes for her? Yes. Hey! Come and place this boy for me, oh. Yes. Come and place him for me. Hey, full quano. This close for her. from home to church and from church to home. Go out, my daughter. Make friends. Mommy, mm -hmm. are you trying to say I should be wayward? That is not what I am saying. Is Uma wayward? She is not. But she is the outgoing type. Go out. Apply for jobs. Job will never come into this house to meet you. Neither will a man come into this house to pick you out. You have to go out for people out there to see you. You are a beautiful girl, my daughter. You are beautiful. Mommy, please, leave me alone. It's my life. Like Daddy said, my sister and I have different characters and destiny. Let me be, please. God is going to give me my own job and my own husband at the right time. I'm not in a hurry. <clears throat> my dear, I'm only advising you as your mother. That's all. Thanks for the advice, Mom. I'll keep it to her. <clears throat> yes, yeah, sir. I'm, I'm just looking at the, the forms right now. Yes, they seem tangible. So uh, I'll go through them and get back to you. If there are any mistakes, Exactly, sir. <laughs> Straight to the court. <laughs> okay, sir, I feel you. I, I'll get back to you soon. Thank you, sir. So, tell me, how is she coping? I mean, how is she doing with the work? Mm, she's doing just great. She's hard working. She's punctual. And she's always cheerful, no matter how stressful the job seems to be. And everyone likes her. I'm glad to hear that. I'm so glad. I know she'll do well. Um, she's a good girl. And also very pretty. Very pretty. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hold it there. <laughs> Come off it, okay? I hope you don't have eyes on her. You better not. Because that girl, you see, she's going to be my wife. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have you proposed? 
<laughs> not, not yet. But um, I intend to do that very soon. How soon? On my own time. Why are you so curious? I hope you've not started pressing buttons. <laughs> no, 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 no. You better not. Not me, not me. Um, anyway, mm. I advise you to do that fast, you know, because you're not the only guy with group eyes. There are so many other guys out there, you know. Don't worry about it, okay? She's mine. And whatever is mine, is mine. Okay. okay? Like I say, I advise you do that fast. You want a coffee? Uh, okay. A toast. To? To a uh, new job and a fat salary. <laughs> I really have to thank you for the joy you brought into my life this period. The job and I'm well paid all because of you, despite all that happened in the past. Well, uh, all that happened in the past was for a reason. Yes. And that is why we are here. is going to make me the happiest man on earth. Will you marry me? What did you just say? Ma, I've come to I've come to love you so much. In fact, all through these times of misunderstanding, I came to realize that I can only but spend the rest of my life with you. And I ask you again, would you make me the happiest man on earth? Then should be enough to prepare the meal. Yes. Mm, what soup do you intend to cook? Mm, says Bitalib is the native soup. Let me cook it. Alright. Mommy, please make sure you make that abacha for them as the appetizer. I will. I want you to give them a treat, they won't forget in a hurry. <laughs> I will, my daughter. Dad, I know the pizza is well stocked up with drinks, but I want you to keep this in case there's any emergency. It's alright, my daughter. You've done well. The how many of them are coming and at what time? Mm, I think it's just Izu and his father. Yes, they should be here by noon. I'll be at work. I'll be working then. I'm sure you can handle it. Am I not your father again? Uh, or don't you trust me? <laughs> I trust you, Dad, more than ever. Oh. Well, mm. I have to leave for work now. It's half past seven. Mm, I'll see sorry. you in the evening. Okay. All right, Dad. Okay. Mm. Mm. Thank have you, nice baby. Day. Bye. See you. Take care of yourself, eh? Just a little thing, my love. Please take us the way you see us. My love, we won't do the traditional wedding for family reasons. But we got to pay the bride price and any other requirement that is on the list. Then we'll proceed for the white wedding. It's alright, it's alright. That's good. At least that will save us the stress of traveling to the village. Really? It's okay. I'll pass the message to my kinsman. Okay. <laughs> 
Just tell us when you are ready to pay the bride price so that I will also communicate them. have to be fast about it. You know, the wedding is just in two weeks. And you know, you take serious things for granted a whole lot. And that reminds me, that short gown I saw you with yesterday, what was it for? Oh, that. It's my bachelor's if party now. Don't you know that after that day, it's going to be bad by to space starhood. I have to work well, you know. <laughs> oh, this my sister won't kill me, you won't. Ma, you can never change. That's me. Anyway, you know me, I won't be at the party. It's not my thing. I'll be in the house preparing for things. You started picking up excuses. But you know, I think you should really be there, you know, with your long skirt and your big scarf. You go up here and like ask for them, like preach to them. Tell them things like, you should be born again. Repent. I say repent. God is coming soon, you know. <laughs> I'm very serious, I'm serious. Oh god, that's oh good. Man. But I really miss you when you leave the house. Oh, oh you? dear sister, don't make me cry. Mm -hmm. I miss you too. But something tells me that you're going to leave this house very soon. you get married very soon, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. That prayer coming from you. Mm. Really amen, mean. amen, amen. <laughs> I don't know what's keeping you on. We're meant to go to the Taylor's list together. Let me call her. That girl is really an African girl. <laughs> What do you mean by patience? Huh? Look, my friend, you better get the cards ready by the end of today. What are you telling me, man? What, what, what sort of rubbish is this? Are you aware my, my, my wedding is just, is just two weeks from now? Huh? Stop giving me excuses, man. Give me answers. Answers, man. Ah! What nonsense? It is, man. Ah. Oh, what's going on? My wedding is just two weeks from now. And I've not shared my, my, my invitation cards. Thanks to this, to this bullshit uh, I printed uh, I, 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 I contracted. Calm down, calm down. The cards should have been ready by now. So, how about the family people? Family? Ah. Uh, and through SMS. But the card still needs to get to people. Family? Huh? What, what is this? That's how they behave. Once you don't show face, your job, they will dump it. You have a point. You have a point. It's better I go over there and rack it myself. Because you don't know who you're dealing with. Special gift that God just gave to me. And I was that right? Well, I said it to me when I was that. Yeah, you were rocking. 
Yeah, this is my night as a single lady, so you know I had to work it out. Oh yes, you really rocked it out, you know. Well, and um, I saw the way everybody was just staring at you. And the girl was staring at you. Oh please. <laughs> and then I realized that uh, I'm the luckiest man on earth wow. to have you all to myself. Hmm? <laughs> Beautiful. Hmm? And you too, Norma. Thank you, Ma. You look good too. Thank you, thank you. That's nice. Relax now. Now, start. Let me look at you. That's my way. I'm on one. I'm on my side. Turn around. Let me see you well. Talk to That's good. You are great! That's my baby! Hmm? Hmm! Like now? Yes, it's very beautiful. Hmm? It's time to go. Hmm? Alright. Where are you going? People are waiting outside. Yeah. Alright. Here comes the bride. Mm -hmm. All dressed and white. Mm -hmm. Here comes the bride. Dun 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 dun. Um, dun. dun. I'm on my way back from the reception hall back to the station. I saw you and you gave me this letter. I said I should give it to you. He said he doesn't want to continue the marriage anymore. What? He said this is our best thing. What happened now? What happened? I don't know. Wait for a lot. What do you say? man to stop his from leaving. Ma, please, don't start. Don't get me angry, please. You should 
at least have stopped him, knowing fully well that he's getting married to your own sister. Oh, I see. You want the world to laugh at me, right? Don't worry, I'll stand up and will still come, and I will leave. But you will still remain here. Wicked girl. Ma, I am not wicked. Clara, you are wicked. Ma, I am not wicked. I, I was confused. I, 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 he just dropped the note and drove off. I, I couldn't even stop him. Stop it. Clara, you are wicked. You are very wicked. Do you hear me? No. Don't worry. Anna will still come and marry you, but you will still remain here. You will remain here, Clara. Clara! Come down, quick. Calm Calm down. down. Relax, please. Calm down. Calm down. Relax, okay? Relax. My... Where is Clara? Um, Ma, Clara has gone to get your food. She will soon be back, okay? Okay? What's on Mizu? You mean Mizu left me? Ma, it's okay. Just don't worry about anything for now, okay? You just have to get well first. Who are you? Where are my parents? Um, he, he brought it to the hospital. Yes. Um, his name is Frank. Yeah, yeah, Frank, Frank. Your parents have not been told about your accident. Let them get over the wedding shock first. I will tell them later, okay? Yes. Yes. Oh, no. Why me? Oh, I don't want you to cry. Okay. Just don't worry. Okay. Relax, just have to get well, okay? Don't worry. Get well first. Why me? Ma, please now. You came to my house, asked for my daughter's hand in marriage, and I willingly oblige you. How will you not turn around to disgrace me like this? Sir, look, I'm sorry, okay? I understand how you feel, but, sir, I have good reasons for my action. And I've made up my mind. I can't go on with this wedding. I I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. What reason is that? What reason is that that who warrant this kind of treatment? My guests are in the church, everybody is waiting. How will how do you now expect me to go and tell them this kind of story? So don't, don't forget that I have guests attending this same wedding too. It's not easy for me either. But there's nothing I can do about it. I have spent a lot of money on this wedding. It's painful, I know. But I'm, I'm a little bit like that, okay? So, please. Keep the bride price, keep everything, everything all to yourself. I don't want anything, I don't want this wedding, I don't want your daughter. How's your mother doing? She's doing well. Let me get her for you. Please do. Except my father. And you, who invited you here? I came to know how your parents. Just shut up! You almost made me lame. And now you've come back here to do what? To kill me? Ma, please just stop this. Stop it! By the time I close my eyes and open it, make sure that you're out of here! You don't have to. I said, get out of my house! Get out! It's okay. Please take this idiot out of here! Let's go. It's okay. It's okay. What sort of embarrassment was that? After all, she was running carelessly that day. 
See, you just have to forgive her. She hasn't come to terms with what's happened to her recently. Just look at that. I didn't mean to hit her. It was a mistake. I know, I know. I think you should just go and come back. Just keep on coming, she'll ease up. And I'm sure she won't behave like that next time. It's all right. I'll leave. But please, talk to her for me. I do pity her. It's okay, it's okay. Take care. Alright, you too. Take it easy, okay? Alright. I'm really sorry. I was here earlier today. But she was very, very angry to see me. I'm truly sorry about the accident, sir. And um, if there's any way I can help, any way at all, even if it means going to another hospital, please don't hesitate to let me know. No, my dear, there is no need for that. She's healing gradually. Thank God. I understand how she feels. She's a young girl, you know, and um, shouldn't be happy to see herself in such condition. I'm truly sorry, sir. I really am. My dear, it was an accident. You didn't cause it, neither did we. But God has a way of doing this, so we should just hand everything over to God. Um, I brought these provisions and other things to help her here quickly. My dear, you shouldn't have. You've done enough already. Others would have just sped off when the accident occurred. Well, all the same, um, I thank you. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. It's all right. Um, Clara! Clara! Cousin. Please take this to in. They are for your sister. He brought them for her. Oh. Thank you very much. It's very thoughtful of you. Thank you. So, I will take my leave now. Won't you stay for dinner? My wife is almost done. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you very much, sir. It's late, as you can see. I really have to get going. Well, if you say so. Well, please drive carefully, okay? Well, oh, sir, I will. Good night, sir. Why are you treating the young man like an outcast? As if he's not a human being. Hmm. Eh? Leave me alone, no. All of you should leave me alone. What is it? Uh -uh. Every time man, boy, husband. That was how I fell into his user and look at what he has done to me. He broke my heart. And even your own because they affected all of us. I am not telling you to marry Frank or anyone. All I'm saying is that you should not be rude to him. He doesn't deserve it. Mommy, please just forget this good boy he's playing. He only wants to warm his way into our family. Ah, look at my leg. He almost made me one-legged. And now, because he's playing Mr. Nice Guy, she starts singing hallelujah. You push better leave me alone in this house, though. Leave me alone. Let me be. Ah, ah.
getting tired. Please now. Okay, just try, please, to that point. someday and run over someone else. No, no, I don't wait for that. Ma, I am talking to you. Don't make me look like a fool. What do you want me to say? Oh, Jesus. Ma, you, you, you are insane. You are, you, you are insane, Ma. Must you let your problem take a better part of you? Must you? So you're going to meet him much. I will teach you a big lesson since the one is who thought is not enough for you. Oh. So you've joined them? Ah. Because I told you now. I am sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry for talking to you like that. It's just that your, your, your action out there really pissed me off. That poor guy. And... Listen, girl, learn to control yourself, okay? Please. I've heard. You know you're one person I can't see, but. Like that. But promise me something like that will happen, okay? Alright, I promise, ma. Oh. Please, I'm very thirsty. Can you get me water? Please. Ah, see my leg, I should be begging you. Well furnished. Thank you very much. Very nice. I'm sorry. I have to be on my way now. I was in the kitchen cooking when I heard the noise. The pharmacist said the drugs he gave you will ease the pain and the sedatives will make you sleep. Okay? Thank you very much. I'm so grateful. Okay? You're welcome. Please forgive my sister, okay? I'll be back much later in the day to see how you're doing. This guy has been doing everything possible to make you happy, yet you won't accept him. Why are you being so heartless? You do what you like, you behave anyhow you like in this house. Nobody talks to you, nobody even cautions you. And that is why things keep happening to you. Why are you drinking someone else's panadol? Can you hear yourself talk? Can you listen to yourself? You're so inhumane. God! What is happening here? Clara, what is it? Mommy, I want her to come straight to your school, but I decided against it. This girl here, ma. Hit Frank on the face with her crutches today. Ha! Ha! I said it. I said that this girl will put me into trouble one day. Masnachi. Did I bring you up to be violent? Did I? Mommy had better warn her. Warn her seriously. Because she's getting out of hand. It's because nobody talks to her. Nobody cautions her. That's why she's. 
has the guts to behave the way she likes in and out of the house. One how? I don't know what she's turning into. Mas Naji, are you out of your mind? Eh? Did I bring you up to be violent? Did I commit any crime and give it back to you? What do you want to bring him into this family? Mas Naji. I've been to his house a couple of times and I didn't meet him there. He's not at the office either. I wonder where he is. But I guess he's not in town. Well, that's not my problem for now. Look at my leg. What if something worse had happened? Uh, God forbid, it's not your portion. So, you're feeling better now, right? No, I'm getting better. Oh, thanks to God. It's a bit to you, I'm so sorry. Um, please, you just have to recuperate and come back to work. We are all missing you. Oh, I miss you guys too. I'll miss you by Monday, by God. Monday? That's okay. Wow, well, please. I have to take my leave now. Okay. I'll see you. Hey, don't worry, do you have to bother yourself? Oh, what? Is you? Yes. Is you. See if your legs are getting stronger. So, I have to be on my way now. You know it's quite late. You've taken your drugs and your food, so I have to go. Mm, it's really late. Let me drop you off. No, no, don't worry. I'll pick a car, I'll be fine. But it's dark. It's not safe out there. I know, I'll be fine. If you say so, you'll be careful out there, okay? You're welcome. You're an angel. Thank you. All right, take yeah. care of yourself. Make sure you take your drugs. All right. Bye, I'll see you later. Why hasn't she come back to you this time? Where did she say she was going? Like I told you, she had a misunderstanding with him. After which she left the house. <sighs> huh? Is it because of Uma that she should go out of the house? I wonder. Where must she be at this time of the night? Uma! Uma! You know if you had one that stayed out late, I would have waited for you till you come back before I lock the gates. You, where did you go to? Didn't I tell you we had a three-day program in church starting from yesterday? See, Clara, when you go to church, you normally come into this compound by 7.30 p.m. 
and then I'll know you went to church. But not when you go to God knows where and come into the house by 9.30 p.m. You expect me to wait up for you. Am I jobless? Okay, okay, I'm okay, not. okay. I went to Frank's house yesterday after the program. I just wanted to see how he was doing. Eh? You went to Frank's house? Hey, hey! See Holy Mary, you! Hey! What's that shout Ma, please, that don't, don't insult me in this house. Mm. Don't. I'm not your mate. Mind the way you talk to me. Is see, 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 see. I've been taking this your insults for too long in this house. I'm not finding it funny anymore. Stop it. Is it a lie? Did you not go to a man's house? How am I even sure you went to church? Hey! Mommy was scared. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey! Mm. Mommy! Oh, hey. I'm warning you! So I am warning you! Mind the way you talk to me. I'm not your mate. Oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be Funny anymore. Uncle, I'm here. Oh, I'm I'm here. Here. Mommy, you don't want to. Hey. This is cool, though. <laughs> I have to leave now. Leave? Why is it that you're always in a hurry to leave whenever you come here? Can't you see I'm enjoying your company? Stay a little longer, please. I know, but you see, Frank, ever since that day my sister hits you, it's been one problem to the other in my house. And everybody monitors me now. I don't want it to look as if I'm hiding something. Don't tell me I'm causing problems in your house. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. It's just about my sister and I. I'm sorry about that, okay? The last food you cooked here is finished. And I don't know if it would be a bother asking you to cook another for me. No, of course not. No, but not today. You're an angel. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be after my bar practice tomorrow afternoon. Okay, that will be alright. Let me drop you off. No, no, don't worry. I'll take care of myself. You think so? Yeah. I will. Take care. Alright. Inside, go quick. Wait for her in the corner. Hey. Hey, madam, that food where you cook that time. Ha! The thing is sweet. Well, well, so the ogre eat her, eat her, eat her. You know what the thing to finish. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll pay the time. Yes, madam. And how is it, madam? Well, she is getting better. She even went to work. We thank God for everything. That's very good. <coughs> so, madam, I came here for an important issue. I hope there is no problem. On the contrary, sir, I came to inform you that I would like to marry your daughter. So, which of them do you want to marry? Clara, sir. Clara? I hope you know them by their names. Clara is the older one. Of course I should know the name of whom I want to marry. It's Clara. Well, um, Clara is not around now. And I can't give you any reply. You know, these days it is wrong for parents to choose partners for their children. 
So I suggest you come back in three days' time. By then, I should have heard from her. It's all right, sir. Thank you for your time. I will take my leave now. Thank you very much. an importer. He imports electronics from Japan and he he also owns a plastic company here in Asaba mm -hmm. and other chains of business. In fact, he, he built the house he lives in right now. Mm -hmm. Is he a claimant? I mean, as in business wise? Um, I can't really say, but from the little I know, from what I see, I, I think he's a businessman, a clean one. I think he's a clean businessman. But mommy, why why all these questions? That boy Frank came here today to ask for money. Mommy, <laughs> 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 no, no, you're joking, you're not serious. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. You know that day <clears throat> you came here, I was in this house cooking. Mm -hmm. I went there after choir practice. And I didn't even know he came here. And he came back to the house and pretended as if nothing happened. Do you know the only thing he told me when I was leaving his house that day? What is it? He said that I should be a good girl, that whatever my parents asked me to do, I should say yes. <laughs> I even thought he was talking about the quarrel I've been having with Ma. The clothes are nice, though. Hey. Oh. Oh. He bought trousers for you, too. Have you started wearing trousers? Mommy, I was even shy to collect the trousers from him. You know I don't like trousers. I don't feel comfortable mm -hmm. in them. Anyway, I can understand. Hmm? At least he's your husband to be. There is nothing wrong with it. You can give those trousers to your sister. That's what I intend doing. Let me give it to her. This one she's been going mm. since morning. Let me see if she'll smile for me. <laughs> Daddy, look at the clothes I gave to Maya yesterday. I, I came out this morning and saw it in the trash bin. Are these all the clothes from both for you? Yes, Daddy. I, I gave some to her and I, I just saw them in the trash bin. Girl is helpless. Where is she? Just come out for me. Come out for me. Good morning, sir. Good morning, girl. Hi, friend. Hello, Angel. How are you today? I'm fine, Angel. I'm alright. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you very you, much. Thank you. Excuse me. How are you, sir? I'm fine. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you very much, sir. So, how has business been? Um, it's been alright. We can go on. Imagine throwing brand new clothes into the dustbin. She should have just rejected it right away. I would have preferred it. Emma is very wrong if she did that. Very, very wrong. That was sheer callousness. But, Clara, were you people quarreling before you gave them to her? We, we quarreled like a couple of times. But we're in talking terms. Even at that, that wasn't enough reason for her to do that. What do you expect me to say now? It shouldn't be. Don't worry, I'll call her and talk to her, okay? 
more cheer up now. You know Ma better than I do. She's like that sometimes. And we have no option than to overlook her mistakes. Because we love her. Don't worry, I'll make sure she apologizes to you, okay? Alright, alright. I'm fine now. So how is work? Oh, so so. Business is slow, but thank God. She let him go. If I were the one, I wouldn't have let him go like that. I would have tried to talk to him, pleaded with him, at least tried to make him see reasons. Instead, she watched him and let him go. How am I even sure she didn't encourage him to leave? What? What? Ma, you know she can't do a thing like that. Who told you? Who told you? Eh? And that useless Frank hit me and scattered my leg. Look at me now, I'm you. And they're celebrating. They want to use my pain to celebrate their joy. It won't happen. Lila, she was nice to you. Which nice? I didn't get married since because I wanted Clara to leave the house before me. And now she turns around to marry the man that almost made me crippled. I was trying to respect her as my elder sister. Let me tell you something. If that man was marrying anybody from that house, it has to be me. What? Ma, are you, are you insane? No, I'm only being reasonable. That marriage will not work. Coming crazier. Her husband came during the day and requested to take her out. And you let her go? What would I? Is she not her husband to be? So you willingly give your daughter to a man to sleep with? Without being her bad wife. I couldn't have said no. Clara is big enough to know what is good for her. Jesus. Say Christian father. You gave your own daughter visa to fornication. Then on Sunday you go to church and receive Holy Communion. Hmm. My mind will rest. Mind when you talk to me and your father. That mind when you talk to me. I will talk. I will talk. That one broke my leg. Ah. Uh -uh. <sighs> Ma, please, please, just let me be. I want to take these oranges. Please, just allow me to take my rest. How many men came here to marry me? More than eight. Which one did I follow? Or which one did my body start shaking for? This one just came to make his intentions known. And all of you grab him like jackpots. Pretenders. Oh my God. What kind of a girl is this? What have I done wrong now? Some of our neighbors have about four or five children. How many times do you hear noises from them? We are one of the smallest family in this neighborhood. Are you saying I'm a noise maker? What I am saying is that we should let the sleeping dog lie. Eight times suitors have come. Eight times you have rejected them apart from his zoo. It is not Clara's fault that you are being too selective. This Frank is the first man coming for your sister. And your sister likes him. Why don't you just let them be? I won't let, let them be. be. I won't. Clara is heartless for marrying the man that injured me. But you are getting better. Very soon you'll be fine like the doctor said. Baby girl, you won't live forever. No. If Frank must marry anyone from this house, it has to be me. Uh-uh. That man broke my leg. And now he wants to marry someone else. No, it's not possible. Nachi, now I know that you are sick. You are very wicked. Yes, ma. Thank you. You better stop this madness of yours, so before the kinsman hears it. Because it will not be a nice story. Come, let's go and cook. Go and cook now. I have to come out. I am tired. If you don't cook with me, then you will not eat in this house. Get me. Hi. 
Hope there's no problem. Not at all. Where is Clara? Clara, she just left here. Didn't you see her on your way here? No. Please sit down. No. I came to tell you that you can't leave me like this and marry someone else. How do you mean? It's either you marry me or you wait for me to get well. Are you out of your senses? No! I am inside my senses. And I'm serious. It's either you wait for me or you get married to me. But you can't get married to my sister while I'm still in this condition. Now, get out of my house. Do you agree to my terms? As you can see, I am a very busy man. Take your leave. Get out of my house! Alright, I'll leave. But just keep what I told you in mind. go to my fiance's house and ask him to marry you. How dare you ask me that kind of question? Ma, you've been misbehaving in this house and I've been taking it. I've been quiet about it, but that doesn't mean I'm stupid. If you try any rubbish with me again, I'll show you that I'm older than you are. Clara, you can't do anything. Ma, Mama, what is it? Ma, don't Clara, you can't do anything. Don't ask me. Don't do anything. What is it? What is it? No, Ma. Warn your friend. Warn her seriously. If she tries any rubbish with me, I'll beat the living daylight out of her. You cannot do anything. Warn her. Please, 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 how can Uma go to a man's house and mandate him to marry her? Such a thing is unheard of. Hey. Hey. This is unlike Uma. But Mr. Wakwe, what may bring about such an attitude? Father, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Clara always quarrels with the sister. Ma is either she is attacking me, Clara, or even the mother. She has become so coarse on these days. Mm. And now she has even gone ahead to threaten Frank. What would the boy say about my family? And what if she decides, I mean, Frank decides not to continue with the marriage now? What will happen? Will I go and marry my daughters? Father, will I? Mm, but has the dowry been paid? No, Father. It is scheduled for next week. But, Father, with all this happening, I just don't know. Honestly, Father, I don't know. I... Calm down. Where is Emma now? She's in her room. But, Father, please, you have to talk to her. You know you are the only one she listens to. Let me go and see her. Now try to talk sense into her. That will be fine, Father. Mr. Walker. Okay? Thank you. Calm down. Calm down. So you can see that. Thank you. You mean all these happened in this house? But why would she try to stop you from marrying the guy? She claims to be angry with me because I didn't stop Izu from leaving her the day he brought the letter. Well, you don't have anything to do with that. Izu just told me the reason why he called up the wedding. Really? Yes. He said Uma slapped him again on their BE night. And now, you just told me about the rape incident. It is a pity. 
No wonder she behaves like that. I feel for her, you know. It's a psychological problem. And all she needs is help. Help from a psychologist or a counselor, and she will be fine. She, she, she hasn't been able to forget that incident. It's not that easy to forget. But that's not the reason why she should stop coming to work. Anyway, Izu got scared of marrying a wife who is um, violent. That was why he decided to opt out. But I'll talk to him about it. I'll do that. And she didn't tell us that she slapped him. How did you know about this? Hmm. Nandi came to the house today to tell me. Hmm. No wonder. What man will receive a slap from his bride on the eve of his wedding and still remain? The enthusiasm will be lost. Mm -hmm. Ma. Hi. Ma. Ma. Ma is always causing problems for herself. Can you imagine? Ma. Slapping a man. You will not kill me in this world. Why you hear someone like that that I slapped him? Is it a lie? You should have told us you slapped him. Clara. Clara, we respect you in this house. I've been respecting you in this hall as my other sister, but it's like you don't want to respect yourself, Clara. You don't want to respect yourself. Mama, if you don't leave here now, I'll beat you to a pop. What is your problem? Clara, you cannot do anything. What? Clara, you cannot do anything. Are you mad? Are you crazy? Am I your mate? My mate! <laughs> you, you, you see what you've caused now, you, you see. My Lego! You know you're very stubborn. My Lego! Why well, are sorry, sorry. You know you, 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 I didn't want to use you that caused this. Frank now. Go and eat him. What are you doing here? 
you stab your own sister because of a man. Man, you should be ashamed of yourself. Nee, I didn't know when I did it. Oh, what a blight now. I feel like dying. Oh, but I see what you want me. Oh, you said I should fail. But I didn't listen. You have to help me. You have to go to my house. Me? Yes. Please. Find out if she's dead. You don't tell them you see me. has called. Umma's phone is sweet off. That blood on the floor at the backyard is my utmost concern. The fowl is still alive. But there's still blood on the knife. How come? God, I hope nothing has happened to my children. Alive. Calm down, okay? There is no cause for alarm. Please, what of my... uh, Madam, I don't know how we're about. Please, let's go to the hospital. <laughs> Alright, please follow us. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Family issue. I would have had her come over to please. No, no, no. Everyone, get a hold on yourselves. We shouldn't invite the police into this issue. This is a family matter and we must handle it amongst ourselves. Sir, Mama is still your daughter, no matter what she has done. The, the truth about it all is that she is suffering from a psychological problem. Yes. And I implore that we all forgive her and find a way to help Is that why she should stab her own sister with a knife? Why if she hadn't survived it? There! Jesus! But, but she survived it. Thanks to the Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Although you just deep, but I'm not so much. Hey! 
close from work, okay? It's okay now. Promise me we won't cry again. Promise. so deep and she hasn't lost so much blood before I got hold of her. It's okay. It's okay. Well, Izu. Yes. Come with me. Why? Just come. <laughs> okay. I guess uh Yes. To love at me, right? I'm not here to love at you. 
I killed my sister! You did not kill your sister. You did it. She's not dead. In fact, she'll be released today. So, are you she'll serious? Be from the hospital. Are you serious? Please tell me my sister is still alive. Please. She is. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The cut was not so deep. And uh, by the grace of God, the hospital did their best to save her life. And God actually saved her life. You don't have to worry about her. Ma, leave me. I'm sorry for leaving you. I'm so sorry. Believe me. You didn't tell me about the problem. The story. How you were raped when you were a kid. You see, this whole thing is not your fault. What you're suffering from is the aftermath of the rape. That is what is causing your psychological imbalance. Had you told me, we would have done something about it. What can we possibly do? Can't you see that I'm going mad? Can't you see? You're not going mad. You can't go mad. You can't. All you need is the help of a psychologist. Okay? And then, a counselor who will counsel you and all will be fine. I'm concerned about my sister. Who should understand that I have a problem? Who is she? <laughs> you just have to go back to the house and plead with them all. They don't forgive you. Okay? Running away from home will not solve it. It won't solve the situation. I'm sure Kara hits me now. Things will never be the same again. On the contrary, if you can go and apologize to them all, everything will come back to normal. Even better than before. Okay? Considering the fact that you're going to get the help of a psychologist who will help fade this ugly incident from your memory. Okay? Will you go with me? I mean to the house.
did not summon both of you to the parish house to raise voices. Father, we are sorry. We didn't mean to raise our voices. I understand. I know how both of you feel. But I want you to see Ma's case from Kara's perspective. She has forgiven Umma. That is a spirit of a true Christian. This is all. Please go in the corner. From Ma to run all the way from her house to the parish house has proved beyond all reasonable doubt that she has repented of her sins. Accept her as her daughter. Sorry. I promise to be a good girl for you today. I promise not to do those horrible things again. Please forgive me. Sorry. It's a 